Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about some creative ways to get your fielding work in. I have so many questions from people that say, you know, how can I do fielding drills? What fielding drills can I do on my own? I don't have someone to hit me ground balls. You know, how do I get better by myself when it comes to defense? And so I'm gonna show you a couple of super simple drills that you can do. And not just the drills, but making sure that we're focusing on the proper things during those drills, right? There are no really magic drills, right? We have to make sure that we're focusing on the right mechanics. We have to do it so many times in practice that in the game, it becomes autopilot. Our body goes into autopilot and we just do everything perfectly, the exact way that we want it to happen. The only way that you get there is through repetition and practice. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of tools that we use for this. Let me show you a couple of drills and then let me give you a couple of pointers. Um, so the first thing is that you do not need someone else to help you with your defensive work. If you have someone to hit you a ball, then that's terrific. But don't let that be the reason or let, don't let not having someone hit you balls be the reason that you don't get your defensive work in. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of drills you can do without anything. I'm going to show you a couple of drills that you can do um, with a ball and a wall. All right. Now for today, what I'm using is this Tanner training ball. And this thing is actually, this is like one of my favorite things now. I'll show it to you real quick. It's a really, really small training baseball, right? And so uh, you, we can use this for hitting as well, but for today I'm using it for fielding. Um, we talk a lot when it comes to fielding about aiming small and missing small and being really, really tuned into exactly where the ball is going in your glove. I'm actually also using this Valley Trainer, this, this really small glove as well. All right, so we're going small, small ball and small glove. Um, but we talk a lot about getting this ball in the exact same position in your glove every single time. That's one of the biggest things for me when it comes to transferring the ball cleanly is getting the ball off of that. We, get, we try to get it off of our index finger, right? And so if you watch really good infielders, that ball goes in the glove at the same spot every single time, right off the index finger. If you watch bad infielders, well, the really bad ones miss the ball, but the ones that are just okay, they catch the ball all over the place. Right? And when you catch the ball all over the place, when you get one ball here and one ball here and one ball here and one ball here, you don't get that consistent exchange. And so I'm always working on getting the ball right off my index finger. When you train with the small training ball from Tanner, it forces you to catch the ball right here. It forces you to focus, right? This is a lot harder to field than a normal baseball. And you use this for a while, and then you go back to a normal baseball and it feels like you're fielding beach balls, right? And so that's why I love it. It forces the, the fielder to have really, really laser-like focus. Okay, now, with all of that being said, let's talk about some easy drills that you can do. All right, the first one, we take our glove off. You can use a glove if you want with it, but we're gonna take our glove off for right now. And we're just gonna drop the ball and feel it, okay? Now you can do this with backhands, you can do this with forehands, it doesn't matter. But again, the small ball really making us fine tune our focus. Let's start with backhands, okay? So we talk all the time about getting short hops, right? We're trying to get short hops and we're trying to get long hops. We're trying to stay away from in between hops. On the, sh on the short hop, if we're gonna get a ball that we have to create a short hop with, we have to use our feet and we have to use our glove in a positive action on that in-between hop to create that short hop. And so we're gonna work on that right now. And so all I do is I get into a fielding position, right? So we're gonna talk about backhands right now. We're gonna get low, I'm gonna have a flat back. I'm gonna to try to get my eyes behind my glove, even though I don't have a glove on right now. And we're just gonna drop the ball and we're gonna work through it. So we're gonna be positive through, I call it pinching the short hop. Right, or pinching the ball to create that short hop. And so we're right here and we're gonna pinch, pinch, pinch. So you can start off by doing that. Then we can work on the transfer. So not only are you gonna pinch through it, but then you're gonna bring it back and transfer, right? So pinch through it, bring it back, transfer. Then we can add in the footwork, right? So then we go here, there. 
right? So now we're working on the glove work, we're working on the transfer, we're working on the footwork, right? We've just done everything really that there is to field the ball, and we can do thousands of reps. You can sit in your house all day long and do this. You don't need a turf field, right? Like we're fortunate here, I got a nice turf field here. You don't need a turf field. You use anything, right? You use your bedroom carpet, doesn't matter, okay? So you go, we can go backhands, we can turn our body and we can do forehands, right? We can do balls right at us. You can go two hands, you can go one hand, right? So we're working in our glove work, we're working in our transfers, and we're working in our footwork. You can do it no glove, you can put a glove on and do it with your glove, okay? But it's really important to work on the catch, to work on transfers, to work on your footwork, and then if you want to, again, if you're in a, obviously if you're in your bedroom, you're probably not gonna wanna throw it. But you can add in a throw as well, right? So if I wanted to, I could get down, I could go here, pick it, transfer and throw, right? So I'm able to get in all aspects of fielding and I'm here all by myself. So that's the first really easy drill to do using the Tanner training, small training ball. Now the other thing, and this is the biggest thing for me, is just having a ball and a wall, all right? So I don't have a wall with me right here, we're gonna go right down to the wall over here. If you can find a ball and a wall, that should be your best friend. All the best fielders that I've played with, I've seen them bouncing balls off walls fielding them and working on the details, right? Almost every clubhouse I've ever been in, especially in spring training early in the year, you would always see players finding some place, bouncing balls off the wall and fielding it. So let's transition over here real quick. I'm gonna bring the camera over, I'm gonna grab a wall, I'm gonna show you how simple it can be to work on everything that you need to as far as fielding goes. Okay, so now we've just transitioned over to our wall here. Now, you can get as creative as you want with this. You can do a hands routine. We have other videos online of our hands routine. Our hands routines are basically working on balls at us to our forehand and to our backhand. You can go no glove on, you can go glove on. I'll show you very quickly. All you need again is a wall. We'll typically start down on our knees. And all we're gonna do is throw the ball off the wall and field the ball. Right, super simple. You can do balls at you, you can do backhands, and you can do forehands. All I'm thinking about when I'm doing that is bringing the ball to the center of my body. Right, first let's back up a second. Fielding the ball off the same point of the glove every time, right off the index finger, bringing the ball to the center of my body, having good posture, having my chest over. Right, so I don't wanna be here. I wanna be chest over, hands out front always be able to see the ball and my glove at the same view, right here, right? And so then I'm fielding the ball, I'm bringing the ball to the middle of my body with my elbows going out. I can go here, then I can work my transfers, okay? And again, do it ball at you, forehand, backhand. From there you can stand up and you can do the same thing, but you're standing. And so now I'm just throwing the ball off the wall, I'm fielding the ball and I'm bringing it to the middle of my body. I do forehands, I do backhands, I do balls right at me, right? Then we can add in our footwork. I throw the ball off the wall, I field it, I bring the ball here, I add in my footwork. On my footwork, I'm taking my right foot to my left and my left to, the top, to my target, okay? So then you can just keep pushing back and you can throw the ball and then you can work your footwork, right? Get to the right of the ball, work through the ball. I would show you all that, but I don't have enough room, I think I'll be out of the camera. We have other videos on it. But here's the bottom line. The bottom line is, there's no excuses for not getting your fielding in. All you need is a ball and a wall, and you don't even need a wall, as I showed you before, okay? So, no excuses to be a better fielder. When you're practicing, work on the fine, small details, right? Again, something as easy as catching the ball off your index finger every time using a small training ball to really, really focus on the, on the small details, right? But 
Every rep has to be perfect. That's the biggest message. Every rep has to be perfect. If your reps aren't perfect in practice, they'll never be perfect in the game. Too many fielders think they're just gonna go in the game and it's just gonna like magically happen. No, you have to make it perfect in practice, right? Everything has to be exactly the way you want it because that's the only way to transition over to the game. And when you get in the game, the ultimate goal is to play on autopilot. And all I mean by that is you don't have to think. You're not, you're not going, okay, here comes the ball. Get to the right of the ball. Okay, go right, left field. Bring the ball in the middle, right, left throw. Right, you're not doing that. But you have to do it thousands of times in practice for it to happen in the game, right? If you get in the game and you have to think all of that, no chance, right? You, you won't be a good fielder. But you should be thinking about that in practice. That's the key, okay? So hopefully that helped you out. Um, Again, I know these, the, the small training balls have really helped our fielders and our hitters, but um, I really like it for fielding as well. Like I said, you get, all of a sudden you start hitting regular balls, get hit at you, and everything just feels so much easier because you have to be super focused when you're using the really, really small balls um, by Tanner. So that's all I have. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.